coordination is definitely off. When you put the animal on his belly, you'll see an attempt to write. No attempt to write himself. Is that in focus? Yeah. Yes, sure is. The animal has both eyes open as it takes it. Beautiful. He wants to go for a walk. There he goes. Putting his best foot forward there. Yeah. Notice how the experimenter lifts the baboon by his left shoulder and continues to apply pressure to it, even though later we hear him say that the shoulder may be dislocated. He much will hold his own weight up. There's no coordination here at all, though. As can be seen, the animal will spring up and get out of his plate and by himself. There's definitely a minimum of coordination yeah, here. Yeah, you can see the animal has a pretty impressive grasp. <coughs> I didn't He's get that. picking up the chair. Very strong monkey. Move it back a little bit, Robbie. It's a little too close, I think, to get. I need to pan back a little bit. This is one of the better demonstrations of the grasp response these monkeys have. So much for that. This animal does have impressive grasps. The animal is just holding on with one finger on either side. This guy could be a chin-up champion here. Look at this. Extremely strong. Gymnastic teams can use him. I'm going to try a macro in on the eyes. Have to bring him up. I don't really detect any motor abnormality. There's a question, I don't know if you can see here, there's a bump on this animal's shoulder. And this is either a shoulder dislocation or there's a. Well, that's a good picture, Tom. You can see the animal does make a few noises. There's a good view of his eyes. The peculiar left eye abnormality. There's the animal looking to his left, the animal looking to his right. Okay. And that's pretty good. Dr. Morrison defends the practices of the head injury clinic. The animal is down for a second lateral bank. That's him waving. As you can see, the monkey's awake, moving all extremities. Uh, <laughs> that's his trainer who taught him how to do those tricks. Uh, the animal is mounted in a helmet. He's monitored for ICP, EKG, EEG, blood pressure, etc. The animal is to be thrust in the lateral position to become a chronic animal. Uh, for long-term studies. You might want to mention that this monkey's already been banged once. I said that, a second bang. Did you say that? This is the animal's second bang. He was banged once at 680 G-force and quickly recovered. Cheerleading over in the corner, we have B-10. B-10 wishes his counterpart well. As you can see, B10 is alive. B10 is watching and hoping for a good result. Future B17 over here. <laughs> After taking 10 years to develop equipment designed to deliver precise injury, experimenters now add an unknown variable. They inflict multiple inexact blows to the freshly damaged brain by using a hammer and screwdriver to remove the helmet. Baboon. I can change his name, call him Slim. 
<laughs> we, should, we could run a diet service. You bring them in, slam them, and put them in bed. <laughs> According to scientists in the field, these blows can invalidate the results of the experiment. Hammering can also interfere with measurements of ICP, intracranial pressure, measurements which are vital to this experiment. Come in and they'll be running around in the lab. It's very conceivable. Booty's the only one we know. Take our No, he's he called <laughs> We had this little string on his tail that we just pulled.